Hello, 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 and welcome to Stamp with Shell. My name is Shell Anderson, and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and creative coach located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Each week, I bring you four new video tutorials. Sunday at 10 a.m., it's Stamp Therapy with Shell. Tuesdays at noon is Lunch Break with Shell. Wednesdays at 7 p.m., Stamp Therapy with Shell. And Thursday at noon, another lunch break with Shell. Those times are all central time as I am in Winnipeg. Tonight's featured bundle is the Fruitful Blessings Bundle. This is found in the mini catalog on page, let me find that for you. <clears throat> on page. On page 45 it's a great set and I haven't received my dies yet they're on route I haven't received them yet but um, I do have the stamp set already so I'm looking forward to those coming in but this is just a beautiful set for so many occasions all right so we are using that and our cardstock colors today are Blackberry Bliss, Fresh Freesia, and Basic White. I have a Memento Black ink pad. I've pulled some iridescent rhinestones. I have a mitt full of Stampin' Blends, Lemon Lolly, Old Olive, Fresh Freesia, and Blackberry Bliss. And I'm not sure if or which ribbon I'm going to use, but I've pulled three different ones that we can figure out. We are doing a fun fold tonight. So your card stock for this um, car, or sorry, the measurements for your card stock, this, these measurements will all be on my blog. But you start out with a piece that's four and a quarter by 11 and you're going to score it at the five and a half mark. And I've done that here already. And then you simply cut off three inches from the front panel. Okay, so that is our, this is bumpy and I don't like it. I have to move this. <clears throat> I want it to be flat. Hopefully I'll get back in camera here. So there we have that nice flat panel. And then for the inside, I have a piece of fresh freesia cardstock. Now, you can emboss this if you want. For the purpose of tonight's video, I am not going to do that. I am just going to maybe get some adhesive on here. We're hitting the bottom of the barrel, friends. There we go. I am just going to pop this on the inside just making sure our borders are the same on all edges and then we'll just burnish that flat again now for the front of the card there's that piece that I cut off I'm going to take that and flip it rectangular like so but before I do that I'm going to mat that up with a piece of fresh freesia Super, super simple to make this card, but it's different than just a plain old standard card, right? This is the same amount of cardstock. Oops, I've got a little seepage here. Uses the same amount of cardstock. Had a little fuzzy. And then this will be our focal image panel. Now on the inside of this card, we are going, ooh, I have more seepage. So here's a tip for you, my friends. Don't try to get it all off. Just wipe it and then let it dry. 
and once it's dry use your glue eraser and it'll come right off so for this one we are going to add this panel to the inside of our card just centering that up the best we can all right now we're going to close that panel and then this is going to cover that so you just take a, take a, a rough measurement as to where that's going to be put your finger there and that's where we're going to put our adhesive once again we'll flip it back over making sure we're covering that panel centering it up the best we can looks pretty good and then we'll press this in place and once again I did the glue oozy thing all right so now since I didn't have my dies I pre-stamped and fussy cut this before the video so that you didn't have to watch me do that so we are going to play with some colors here I think I want this flower here to be blackberry bliss but I'm thinking I want it to be I'm gonna bring in a little scrap of white cardstock here I'm thinking I want it to be a light color So I'm just going to start around the center part of that flower and I'm hoping you're able to see what I'm doing here and I'm just flicking the color outwards. Right at this point I'm not paying any attention to the petals. So I'm going to put the cover on that and I'm going to bring in the light lemon lolly and I'm going to go around the outside of that and then I'm going to grab the dark lemon lolly and do the very center and while I have the dark lemon lolly out I'm going to do the center of all of the flowers There we go, I think we got them all. Now we're gonna go back to the same light Blackberry Bliss. And now is when I'm paying attention to the petals because I don't want to go outside the lines if I can at all help it. Sometimes I mess up, but that's okay. We just carry on. that petal goes up into that daisy a bit as do these ones so we have to be careful there all right down here at the bottom edge You'll see that by flicking this color I'm kind of getting a little bit of variation because I'm not going to use the dark blackberry bliss I think it's too dark or maybe I'll use just a little to put some shadows in here we'll see after I get the rest of this colored There we go. All right, I'm just going to leave that flower be because, as you know, these inks will change as they dry. Oops, wrong end of that one. 
This is light old olive. And because there are different leaves, I'm going to do some strictly in light old olive and I'm going to do some in dark. And that will give us a coordinated variation. There we go. That's those. Oops, there's another one. And a little piece in here. Now there's a big leaf over here. I'm going to do that one in the dark. I think I'm going to outline it as well. So I really want to get quite a bit of that dark color in there. And then I'm going to come back in with the light and blend it out. There we go. Alright, I'm happy with that. Now, I'm going to take light fresh freesia and I'm going to do these little flowers, whatever they may be up here. And then I'm going to take dark fresh freesia, if I can find it, light dark right here and we're going to do the daisies in the dark have you ever seen fresh freesia daisies <laughs> well tonight we are and there's one more down here Now we have just this one flower here and I think I am going to color it in dark lemon lolly and then I'm going to change the center of the flower to a different color. That's what happens when you're stamping on the fly, you change your mind. Try to make things quite simple as possible when I'm doing my videos, but sometimes I change my mind. Now I'm going to go with the um, Light Blackberry Bliss, I think. Let's see what happens when I add that to the center. Might have to go darker once that dries. All right, we're good. So now this I'm going to put on the card like this and I want a greeting here. So I think I'm just going to choose the little tiny one that says hello friend. And I think it's that one, yep. As you can see, this is the first time I've used this stamp. And I am going to live on the edge. Let me get a smaller block. And let me find my chamois. We're going to give this a clean. make sure there's no residual oils or anything all right just using memento black ink 
I'm going to stamp it on my paper a couple of times. Then I'm going to clean it again. All right. We'll get that inked up and we will stamp it right up in this corner. Wish me luck. Perfect. I'm happy with that. We'll cover that ink pad up and put it away. Clean that stamp and put it away. And now I need a blending brush. And I think I'm going to use Fresh Freesia ink. Fresh Freesia. Here we go. We're just going to load that up, tap off the excess, and slowly build some color. We don't need a whole lot. But it's nice to have a little backdrop for our maybe a little more down here and a little more up this way. Yep, I'm happy with that. So that was Fresh Freesia. Now we get to put it all together see if I can do this without getting glue all over everything again. And this one is just going to get centered on this panel. Oh, 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 oh. Clumsy. There we go. And now if we had some dimensionals, we could pop this little guy up. And we'll remove those little backings. I like to use either a paper piercer or take your pick tool. It makes it much easier. And then we'll just pop this guy like that. And now I have some iridescent rhinestones. And I chose these because they are pinkish like they're clear but they have a pinkish um, hue to them so I thought that if we put a few of these little guys around like that That would sparkle it up a bit. And now I have three ribbons. I don't think I want that blackberry, but I'm kind of looking at this guy here. This is the white sparkle ribbon. And it's got pinkish hued sparkles in there. So I thought we could just use this. Now, before I get doing too much, I want to make sure that I've got, oh, there's some adhesive. It's got to come off. Remember I just wiped it 
and said, I'll come back and take care of it after. Perfect. We're all good. All right. So I am just going to wrap, make sure my ribbon's flat, and wrap it around. And I'm just going to tie it in a knot somewhere near the halfway point. There we go. We'll just tighten that, trim these down. It's still too long. All right, now we need a glue dot. And because you've stuck around with me till the end of the video, I have another card to show you that I made earlier. And it is the same, but a little bit different. And what I mean is I just started with a couple of pieces of cardstock that I had that weren't st standard card sizes. So, um, that's what I mean, similar but different. Um, similar design, same fold, just different sizes because I used what I had. I wanted to try this, but yet I wanted to, if I, if I failed, <laughs> if I failed in my, in my journey, I didn't want to be wasting. So I just used what I had in my scrap bin. So here is our fruitful blessings card and I think this is gorgeous with all the sparkle I hope the camera is picking up all that sparkle so there is that one and earlier I did one using the festive and fun and I used the balloon paper And this is a Christmas card. However, I use the birth, um, what's it called? My memory is terrible. Oh, I'm in the wrong catalog even. <laughs> what is this paper called? It's right at the front. It's called Bright and Beautiful 6x6 six six paper. It's this one right here. So I use that, and this card, as you can see, is a wee bit smaller. And instead of using a rectangle, I cut them down and made them into squares. So, you know, you can play with it. So that one's festive and fun, and that one is the Fruitful Blessings. I hope you like these cards, and I hope to see you back again here real soon. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, pl please subscribe, like, share. It really helps me out. Thanks for everything. Bye-bye.